What is going on, true believers? Not that long ago, I was hacked and lost pretty much everything. The important part that I lost, the, the one that matters the most, those were the stable coins. Those are the ones that I was just going to um, use to pay my bills. But the way that I make those is through getting cryptos and cryptos pump. And you know, you make a few bucks off of it and you take those bucks, you turn it into something um, in your real life, right? That's how you, uh, that's how you do this. And it's been kind of a struggle for the last little while, but the most important part was to recover, right? Which I did. And I want to show you what I'm doing. And I want to let you know that, you know, these are the, the moves that I've been making. Now, before I get started, if you like this content, make sure there's the like button, the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future content. And I also want to recognize that I have two sponsors for this tonight. Uh, first one is Fairdesk and the link is right down there below. Uh, you can see that. Uh, at the bottom. And if you like that, sign up for them. And the other one is cryptonomy.finance. I'm doing two things when I do these. Uh, first of all, with Fairdesk, I'm doing futures trading. It helps me tremendously if you sign up at Fairdesk and you start trading. Description, uh, the link is in the description down below. Also, it helps me tremendously if you sign up with Cryptonomy and start um, investing into their launch pool or uh, start staking your tokens so that you can earn some yield on it. And I am nervous when those uh, when when staking comes into play, but this is a bull market. This is a bull run. So I think we're going to be fine. I think that we're in a great position. So now with that out of the way, I want to talk to you about my positions and what I'm doing. So let's start off with this is what we've got going on in the current investment. Now, uh, in the last couple of days, I've made a few dollars off of Fairdesk in my trading and i'm going to do some copy trading so that you guys can follow along and do exactly what i do if that is what in fact you want to do but i am currently down 938 dollars on this trade uh, i have 2582 that i put into a long position at an entry price of 52.643 uh, current market price is 51.409 that was 15x so i've got some uh, I got some leeway in the position of 49.443. Now, in the event that this is broken, uh, I've got a buy order set to protect it at the bottom. And my entire PL, by the way, I, I set at 500,000. Uh, just for a goof, by the way, uh, in the event that 500,000 is where we went, uh, that would be $339,000 profit. Don't think we're going to 500,000 Bitcoin for a while, but I want to put that in there uh, just to. Uh, uh, just to make sure that the TP didn't get triggered because the other day uh, when we had a nice run up here, my TP got triggered right here. And that led to uh, me saying, you know, let's just see what happens here. After we wick down into the 786, I thought, you know, maybe this thing is going to continue to send. Maybe there's an opportunity here. Now, by the way, against my own better advice, when I was looking at it, I was like, you know, probably coming down but let's take a risk and see what happens. Uh, so we lowered the leverage just a little bit and we put ourselves in that position. And uh, now we're down $945. It's found money, guys. We just won it. We just, you know, we just, we just made a move on it and we just made a big play and now we're sitting well up. So what we're trying to do here is to add some more risk into this and say, well, you know what? Uh, if we lose it, it's found money anyway. We just put a couple hundred bucks in here. We've done a good job. We've made a pretty good lick, if you will off of it and we haven't taken profit yet but in the event that we get a good run here and we get a reversal which i do think is imminent then i, I think that that's what we're gonna work with i'm looking at the bollinger bands right now i'm looking at this uh, uh fib retracement and what i'm seeing is you know i think this is kind of playing out well enough and we're running right off of the 236 bouncing our way back up you know, 51.6 probably. Uh, you've seen the liquidation levels. We'll go over a lot of that tomorrow and we'll we'll kind of look and see how this plays out for the night. I, you know, maybe we're going to get a pump overnight. Maybe we're going to get a dump overnight. I don't know what's going to happen yet. But I wanted to point that out and wanted to ask if you are an investor and you are looking to do some futures trading or if you're just looking to do some spot trading. Let me come over here and show you how easy it is to trade over here. Uh, you do have, it's very simple. It's very intuitive. It's very it's, it's exactly what you think it is. And there is an, a, there, there's a gigantic amount. These are my favorites over here, but there's USDT as well. And you can do as many pairs. There's, there's plenty of different spot cryptos that you're able to trade over here. So if you're looking uh, to make a move, if you're looking to make a play, it's a great place to come over and do it. Also, this is my portfolio. Remember, my portfolio is on MEXC at this moment, but I am not endorsing or, or telling people to Go to MEXC right now. So we're going to use CoinGecko. 
uh, for uh, the option for the moment. Now, as you can see, uh, my number one holding is API 3 up the top there. Uh, I have $400 uh, sitting in that right now. I'm up 7.38%. My profit on it is $27.50 so far. This is off of an investment of you know $370. Uh, Solana put in $100. It's worth uh, $105.99 right now. We're up 6.76 cents. Uh, Injective, we put $100 in. We're down 5.62%. Uh, so we're down $5.61. Render, uh, we put $50 into Render, and we're up 75.99 cents to $88.77. Casper, we're up 66%. Uh, we're up 23% on Volt. We're up 21% uh, on Avalanche, 8% on Arbitrum, 3.3% on Doge. We're down 11% on Bone. And on Hex, we're down 10.9%. Now, Hex, by the way, very small amount. If you, if you notice here, I basically put $20 into Hex just to kind of hold on to it and see ex exactly whether or not it would do what it could potentially do. Now, when I look at Hex, by the way, I do want to stress that when you look at this over the year, then you can see right here. I mean, it was at 12 cents not that long ago. This is really not that long ago. Uh, and, and in some context, when you go back to the max over here, this is that 12 cents right here. But in the bull run, it was up to 44, 45 cents. So, um, you know, we're really talking about a 50 to 60 X from here. So if I can turn $20 into $1,000, cool. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just kind of holding on to it. And I, and I figured, by the way, I'm going to accumulate a little bit more because I think under a penny still represents a pretty good um, uh, an opportunity here. I'm not sure how this plays out with Richard Hart. I am a little concerned about you know, what the likelihood is about how it plays out. I do have some concerns, but those concerns are not too much that I'm not willing to take a little bit of risk on because I think that it's really kind of bottomed out at this point. So I feel like in this next sort of run, we're probably going to get a nice little runoff of Hex. I'm not paid to endorse Hex, by the way, and I'm not endorsing Hex for you, by the way. Uh, I am just telling you my logic behind it. Uh, and then finally, cryptonomy.finance. Uh, you know, this is um, this is my partner, been for been for a while. Uh, the transactions, what I am doing here, uh, it should be noted here, most of what I'm doing is based on my interest account and it's based on this launch pool. And I want to point out and stress that I have no affiliation with any of these other tokens. Uh, I do have friends who are uh, invested in these tokens and I am also invested in some of these tokens. But I want you to look over here and see uh, Dev E is one of them and it went up 4.39 per uh, X. Uh, Web 3 War FPS went up 4X. Lens went up 8X so far. Tada is up 8X so far. And look, what you're doing basically is you're investing into these cryptos. They're getting in on the launches for you and they're making the profits for you. So what I've made so far is nothing short of staggering. Now, you are locking this in for a long period of time and I put half a, uh, I put a half a Bitcoin in here if you remember last year when we were doing this, and it's going to be for one year. So far, my yield is $61,820. That's a very big number. What I've done, basically, I gave them um, a little money for them to stake this and give me yield off of whatever the, these pumps are. On January 25th, you can see right here, uh, GT Protocol uh, 13X. So, you know, these are the type of gains and these are the type of yields. Now, you might be looking at some of these, by the way, and you might be saying to yourself, yeah, that's not how high it went. Well, this is just where they took the profit. So, uh, you know, when, you, when you're looking at this, this is where this is not their overall. This is just where um, Cryptonomy made the money. And that's how I'm getting my yield. And that's how I'm getting my reward off of it. So, uh, you know, I'm feeling, and by the way, if you look at their project categories, you're seeing that most of this portfolio goes into GameFi, uh, then 11% into DeFi, 11 is into blockchain, and then other is 9.3, Dev E being one of the blockchains. So, you know, in, in the event that some of these things just absolutely go parabolic, then my reward ends up being a little bit more. Now, of course, it's not going to be off of my entire amount. It's going to be off of a portion, each portion of that, but this is very important. So uh, if you haven't already, uh, I guess my summary here is go to Cryptonomy and, you know, give it a shot. See, uh, see if there's not something that you would like to do. Uh, see if there's not something that you could um, add some uh, stake into. You know, remember, we're looking at stuff that I'm holding on to that I'm going to be holding on to long term. 
right? So uh, an example here would be API 3. You guys know I've been a fanatic about API 3. So why don't I put um, 5,000 and we're going to swap this from that to Bitcoin because you can't, um, I don't have API, I'm not holding API 3 on this. Uh, so we're going to do 0.5, uh, we're going to do point point two. We're going to do 0.2 Bitcoin um, and we're going to do it for 12 months, 107% uh, yield reward, a, a fantastic number, right? So I'm going to hit continue here. I'm going to approve this transaction for myself. And then, uh, so guys, listen, this is what I'm, what I'm telling you right now is on my API, when I'm looking at these things, if I look at API and I say that, you know, it's not about the money, it's about whether I can double the amount of tokens that I have. And if I can double the amount of tokens that I have, when and if it does run, then I will have enhanced value. I mean, if it goes down 50%, it goes down 50%. This is not about the money. This is about increasing the number of tokens that I have in my possession. And I don't need them for a year. I mean, we've got, this is February 22nd when we're filming this of 2024. February of 2025, we will not have reached the high yet. We'll probably have another six months to a year before we reach the all-time high again. So, you know, I am... Um, risk it for the biscuit, I want to say, you know, whatever that thing is. But I, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to accumulate more and more tokens. If I, if I can do that, then I feel like I'm going to enhance my position overall and I'm going to be much better off for it. And that's the way I'm doing it. Uh, let me know how you are doing it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to sign up for Fairdesk. Don't forget to sign up for Cryptonomy.finance. These are the partners. These are the guys that are helping me in this time. You are somebody who's helping me during this time. And I appreciate that. And because I appreciate that, I'm showing you what I'm doing. I'm showing you how I'm playing this market. I'm showing you to the best of my ability. Am I going to get it right every time? No. Uh, I'm down $1,000 right now uh, on my Bitcoin long. But I think I think that I've got a, a pretty good position. And I don't think that I'm going to lose on that. I, I could. Anything could happen. Uh, the market looks weak right now. But I don't think that I will. So... Uh, I think that I'm going to pump, but I'm guessing just like everybody else. I, I, all I can do is I can look at the charts. I can look at the numbers. I can look at the position. Um, I felt like a little while ago at, at the end of uh, when the bell rang on uh, Bitcoin or on the, the Dow Jones for the day, it was up like 500 points. NASDAQ was up over 500 points. Like it was a fantastic day over on NVIDIA coming in with record uh, profits. Uh, certainly helped that, but... I thought that would apply to Bitcoin. And it did for a while. Bitcoin going up to a local high of uh, 52,154 before crashing its way right back down to wherever we are right now. However, the, the day has started off with a nice little pump. I think that, you know, we've we've kind of taken profit for the last couple of days. We've kind of, um, you know, we've kind of taken that 53,000 that we got to. We've looked at that. We've, we've kind of broken into that little frame uh, and now there's a big pool of liquidity sitting at 53,400 and we keep sweeping down to grab liquidity in order to make another big move. And I think that big move is coming again. I think that we're about to see um, that, that that big move. And if if you allow me, uh, it looks like over the last bunch of hours, we're not reversed, by the way. When you zoom out here, there's no reversal. In, in fact, we, we can't call anything that we're doing a reversal until we break the trend. And, you know, the trend is your friend. And right now that trend is to the downside. We're not heading to the upside. And if you just give me that that's probably not the right one and you say, well, you let's look at the next top over here. It's still kind of downward momentum. But here is the other part to that. In that is in the last several hours, you can see right here, we're starting to mint higher lows. And then you come over here and you look that we're starting to do the same thing over here. Well, we're starting to bullhorn our way back up here. And could there be a breakout coming? Now, I don't know if there is, because if you look over here and you see what we did uh, previously when we got that move, again, we just kind of meandered, but we did get our all-time high uh, or our local high before we came back down for another retest. So this market is really just kind of doing liquidity sweeps on everybody. And, you know, um, it, it's a... I would not recommend that you trade during this market. You know, this is one of those times where th this is very choppy. This is very scary sort of market. I'm sitting here thinking like, you know, at any moment, I can just see a, just a massive move and, and get liquidated at any point. And I can just be staring at it while we're talking and see it happen because, you know, we did see it before. We saw it right here. It just was in the wrong. It was in the other direction. But I mean, imagine if you're sitting here right now where, where we are and then bang, 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 bang. That's a couple thousand dollars right there. If this 
happens right there, then I, I just, I get wiped out. So, you know, anything can happen and we're still in a better position, but you know, I lose the money. It, it's, you know, it is what it is. So we're risk on, I wouldn't recommend it to you though. And, you know, hopefully we're going to see a nice little run, a nice little uh, profitable move, but I don't know. I, you know, we're all guessing. Uh, so, you know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Sign up to Fair Desk, sign up to cryptonomy.finance, help me out. Uh, if for your privacy, security, and protection, don't forget NordVPN. Uh, I, I'm always talking about them as well. And um, this helps me out greatly. So thank you so much for taking the time. And uh, this is not financial advice. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.